Bill Lyford. Bill, William. There he is. There he is. Boy, for a World War II veteran, you get around pretty well. Look at him. Um, come here, you. Uh, stand, st sit, you do whatever you want. I, I'll, I'll do whatever you command me to do. Eight campaign stars. One landing arrowhead, a bronze star, a presidential unit citation. World War II, May 3rd, 1943 to December 3rd, 1945. Italy, France, Germany. Let me read a little bit here, you. In fact, I want to read this. Uh, Mr. Lyford, a, a, a book is being written. Pardon me? Bill. Bill, a book is being written about your experience. I'd like to quickly read one. Feel free to sit if you'd like. This is called Saving the First Scout in Alsace. Did I pronounce that right? Alsace. Alsace. One morning our squad moved out on a combat patrol. What year was this? 1944. One morning our squad moved out on a combat patrol, but in a line, not a diamond formation, as would be normal. The main difference, as I recall, the two scouts were not of our squad. The line was first scout, second squad, squad leader, BAR man me, that was him, then the rest of our squad. We were moving up a meadow with woods on the left and right of us, and far forward of us were more trees. We were about halfway up the meadow when a machine gun opened up and we hit the ground. The grass was about a foot and a half high. As long as we stayed down, everything was okay. But if you tried to get up and move, the machine gun would open up. After a while, the word was passed back to the first squad that the first squad was wounded. We could call for a medic, but he couldn't get up there. Soon the word was passed to pull back to our line. Don't remember how long this took, but after we were back, I said, we can't leave the wounded man out there. He'll go nuts. I put down my BAR, took off my big ammo belt and pack, opened up my first aid kit, and tied the bandage three or four times around my left upper arm, I think to look like a medic. A fourth platoon man said that he would go with me. I put a 45 automatic under my shirt. We stood up and walked out, going up the meadow to look for the first scout. No one shot at us. Finally, we found him. He'd been shot through both knees. We each took an arm so that we could lift him between us. Just as we had him up, a mortar shell hit at our feet, throwing us in all directions. When I came to, I was able to find my helmet and surprised to find my glasses up in the webbing. I crawled around and finally found the wounded man, climbed over him, had him wrap his arms around my neck, and I crawled back to our lines with him under me. He was taken back to battalion aid station. In the meantime, my helper had found his way back to the line. Just another day at the beach, huh? <laughs> hey. said how difficult it is to still listen to that. World 